Number 23. To maintain a constant speed, the force provided by a car's engine must equal the drag force plus the force of friction of the road, the rolling resistance. Letter A. What are the magnitudes of the drag forces at 70 km per hour and 100 km per hour for a Toyota Camry? And notice that the drag area is 0.7 meters squared. All right. So in order to figure out the uh, drag force, right, we have to use the drag force formula. It's over here on the right-hand side. So that formula says that the drag force will be equal to one half multiplied by the coefficient of drag times the density of the fluid the object is traveling in times the area or the surface area that is facing that fluid and then multiplied by the velocity it's moving at squared. All right, so let's see what we know. The coefficient of drag, let's go to the table in the upper right hand side. Coefficient of, drag, uh, of, excuse me, coefficient of drag, we're talking about a Toyota Camry. Here it is, 0.28. All right, so that is 0 0.28. Now it's traveling in air, so we need to know that the density of air is equal to 1.21 uh, kilograms per cubic meter. All right, so that becomes 1.21. And the area, it told us the drag area is 0 0.70 meters squared, so that's great, 0 0.70. And then the velocity they gave it to us kind of them, in kilometers per hour, but we need to, in order to uh, put it into the formula, we need meters per second. So let's do uh, a quick conversion. So we got 70 kilometers per hour, kilometers on the bottom, meter on the top, 1,000 meters in one kilometer, kilometers goes bye-bye. Now we got hours, but it starts in the denominator, so I put hours in the numerator so that they cancel. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to go to seconds, guys. I, guys, I always go to um, minutes and then seconds, but by now, let's let's know that there uh, are 3,600 seconds in an hour. All right? That'll just save you an extra step. So here we can simply calculate this now. So 70 times 1,000 divided by 3,600. <clears throat> so 19.4. Right? So 19.4 meters per second. So this is the value now I'm going to plug in. So this is 19.4, and that must be squared. So this is easy. Just calculate the drag force. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.28 times 1.21 times 0 0.7 times 19.4 squared. And it comes out to 44.6. So we got 44.6 newtons. Okay, great. Then it asks us to do it for 100 kilometers per hour, right? So now <clears throat> let's just, I'm going to do the calculation over here, 100 kilometers per hour. Again, it's just going to be a thousand meters over one kilometer and then one hour over 3,600 seconds. All right. And we get, <clears throat> we get a value of 100 times 1,000 over 3,600, 27.8. So 27.8 meters per second. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put it little parenthesis over here, 27.8, and that's just going to be squared. So now when I calculate my new drag force, it's just going to be everything's the same. 0 0.5 times 0 0.28 times 1.21 times 0 0.7 times 27.8 squared, 91.6. So 91.6 newtons. Okay, great. That takes care of, this is all for letter A. All right, this is all for letter A. So now take a look at letter B. What is the magnitude of the drag force at 70 kilometers per hour and 100 kilometers per hour for a Hummer H2? Here's now the new drag area. So uh, let's do letter B. All right, I already calculated the meters per second, thank God. And now it is F uh, sub D is equal to one half. Now we need the coefficient of drag for a Hummer. So let's go to the table. Where's the Hummer? Here it is, Hummer H2 SUV, 0.64. So we got 0.64. And the density is still the same because we're talking about air. And the area now has changed. It's 2.44, right? And then now I'm going to do the 19.4. That represents the velocity of 70 kilometers per hour. So let's do this first. So we got 0 0.5 times 0 0.64 times 1.21 times 2.44 times 19.4 squared. And we realize that we get a much higher drag, right? So, uh, force, so it's 356. Newtons, how's that for your gas mileage? And <clears throat> now let's do the same thing, but plug in now 27.8, and that's gonna be again squared. So I'm gonna do the same calculation here and just 
uh, change the value there. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.64 times 1.21 times 2.44 times 27.8 squared and 730, even better, 730 uh, newtons. All right. All right, guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Please do remember to subscribe. And if there's anyone else in your class or that you know of that might be doing these questions along, uh, along with you and we could help them too, please tell them to check out our channel. Thank you so very much. Take care.